Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. While I have you here, uh, why don't you give that subscribe button a quick little tickle and then we'll start looking at this set. This is 75270 Obi-Wan's Hut from 2020. It has 200 pieces and retailed for $29.99. Uh, if you wanted to pick this up on BrickLink, you can get it with various states of completion for about $20. But if you want it sealed, it's still $30. So it didn't appreciate in value very much. Uh, it's just a little set. Uh, and, you know, it's not that old. Uh, it is retired, but it was only from four years ago. So, you know, take that how you will. Uh, it comes with four minifigures. We have this R2-D2, which was in six sets. It goes for about a dollar. There is this farm boy Luke Skywalker, who is in eight sets. He goes for about two dollars. He has a double printed face. His macro binoculars there. You have old Obi-Wan Kenobi, or old Ben. He is actually unique to this set. He's about $3. He uh, does not have a, a second face. And then you have a Tusken Raider who is in five sets and goes for about $2. He's got a gaffy stick. Um, not really much to say about the figures. They're pretty standard. Um, like I said, several sets for three of them. Um... I I think this hut is super cute. I thought it was really charming. That's why I wanted to get it when it came out. Uh, you lift the top up like that. And fold out the sides. And you kind of expands here. So um, first let's look at the outside. So you got this little kind of chimney here. You got this key keypad sort of thing some windows and this leads to the outside or something i'm not sure uh so outside it's pretty quaint it's cute inside you got a bunch of little details in here you've got another gaffy stick back there you've got some tchotchkes and knickknacks you have I'm assuming this is some sort of like walking stick or something. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Um, you got a little cup and some blue milk on a table, a little chair. And you've got this little projector that has this tiny, tiny little like uh, hologram Princess Leia. That's where, uh, you know, the help me Obi-Wan Kenobi or my only hope scene with R2. Um, then there's some stuff in this crate over here. Open this up. We've got Anakin's lightsaber, the one that Luke is given. And then a training droid. The uh, little floating remote. It's not actually in this scene in the movie. We don't see that until they're aboard the Falcon, but they decided to include this. It's actually a pretty cool printed piece. This would make a cool, like, some sort of droid head. And that goes with these pieces here. Pull this off. Come on. And this, too. It's not often they have to incorporate other pieces into the set that you have to like take apart and I do believe you're able to have that or something I don't exactly remember how it was but you'd have a little training remote flying around and you could have Luke or whatever train with it uh, what is kind of interesting is that it comes with two lightsabers. I mean, technically, yes, Obi-Wan has his lightsaber, and then he's given Luke his dad's lightsaber. But 
you never really see that in the film. You also don't see the remote, like I said, in the film during this time. And uh, you don't see the blue milk in the film. Uh, that's not during the hut scene. That's uh, when Luke is having breakfast at his own place. But I do appreciate these little details that I added in here. Those all back there. This little crate here on the outside, nothing in it. Might be where you store the macro binoculars. Not sure. And that's kind of everything on the inside here. It's a cute little set. They packed a lot of little details into it. Um, I'm going to show you back here. They've got sort of this little cook stove with uh, soup on the pan. And then they've got that little flame going on there right next to a wooden gaffy stick that's not exactly safe. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then we've got a bunch of clips back here. Now, I don't know exactly what those are for. I can only assume it's supposed to be able to, like, clip onto something else as sort of like a module. I don't know if it's meant to go with, like, the, the UCS cantina or not. I'm not sure. Um, I have not been able to figure that out. I will probably have to do some research, but from what I could find, you know, looking up the prices and everything for this set when it came out... Um, didn't really see anything about what those clips were intended for. Um, but if you do have this set and you've got the uh, cantina, I mean, it fits the same styling for that. You'd probably be able to strap it on there and expand that out a little bit. Uh, overall, super cute little set. I think 30 bucks for something like this. It comes with four minifigures. Pretty decent price. Um, and it's, it's held its value. Like I was actually expecting this to be kind of cheaper or go up to maybe 40 bucks. I don't know. Um, I don't really think there's much demand for these minifigures. I mean, you get those three in a whole bunch of different sets. They're pretty easy to get. And the old Obi-Wan, you don't, you don't really see a lot of mocks with him. So, I don't know. It's pretty cute. If you guys got it, let me know uh, what you think those clips are for. Um, I honestly have no idea what, what they are possibly there for. But it's not often that you see LEGO design something that is able to attach to something. And, and yeah, I got nothing else. I'll see you guys in the next one. Doodles.